Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to film a what's in my new makeup drawer video. Um, I mentioned I th was going to do this in my shop my stash video because I just didn't have time to like go through everything in that video. Um, and at least one of you said you did want to see it. So here it is. I think I'm going to... Is this the right angle to show you things? I don't know. I feel like it's weird. So I think I'm going to take everything out and show it to you. You know, like I do my shop, my stash. Um, yeah, I hope that works. So yes, if you're into seeing what is in my embarrassing new makeup drawer in quotations, <laughs> because some of this stuff is actually not new at all. It's just been in here for forever. And yeah, I have to reorganize it and put some stuff in with my regular collection because I want to keep this drawer to be actual new stuff like things I'll I plan on doing videos on or new makeup I want to test um, and right now it's kind of just like where I keep things that I just haven't had time to reach for yet or that haven't been pulled into like my shop my stash or my panning projects so yeah some of these things have been super neglected so yes if you want to see that just keep watching okay so the first thing i have in my new makeup drawer is this little basket this probably has some of like the oldest things in it um and i would really like to be able to see what's in here so yeah i'm gonna organize this and I guess I'll just pull things randomly because there used to be some sort of organization to this, but it's kind of just a mess now. So this first thing on the top here, I think I showed this in a video already. It's the Makeup by Mario um, Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencil in the shade Travis. Uh, this was out of stock for like over a year. I actually like most of his lip liners were. I don't know what that was about. Um, they come with a sharpener. That's why the box is so long. The pencil itself is like a regular size. And I got this because it was described as a milk chocolate brown, I believe. And I'm really into brown lip liners. Actually, one side is a brush, so you can blend it out like with your lip color. This is the shade, and it is a pencil liner. Um, I'll swatch it. Yes, that looks like a color that I've been looking for, because I've been trying to find brown lip liners, and I feel like they're always light brown, and my lips are already quite pigmented naturally, so if I want definition, I need something a little deeper. So I think I'm really gonna like this. I guess I will... Should I put this away with my other lip liners? Yeah, I think I'll just put this away because it's not a new product. I don't plan on doing like a dedicated Makeup by Mario video or anything. I kind of just did one like not long ago. So yeah, I'm going to just put this in my lip pencil container now. This next thing is very exciting. This is the One Size Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio in the shade Attention Seeker. This is the shade that went viral because it's that like trendy bright pink. Um, I do have another one of these in the shade Fat Ass, and it's more like a coral, but it's really nice. I really like all three formulas in these palettes. I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm not even sure how the shade's going to look on me, but I'm very excited about it. This is something I will keep in this basket because I plan on doing a video like viral makeup that's been collecting dust in my collection because I buy a lot of things because they go viral and I plan on like well it's not even that I plan on doing videos on them because by the time I get the product I mean it's already like we've moved on to, to the next thing but like when things go viral I feel the need to test them for myself like because I'm just 
I just need to know. <laughs> And, I, and then I get worried like, oh no, it's going to go out of stock because it's so popular. So that's kind of what happened with this. I bought it before the sale because I was like, it's going to go out of stock because it was out of stock in US. But I think it's always been in stock at Sephora Canada. So I don't know what that's about. But anyway, I have this. I'm going to keep it in this drawer so that I remind myself to film that video. So I'll put it back in the box too because when I try new products I like to read the packaging and make sure like I'm applying it as it says or that if there's specific claims of the product I want to test the claims so yeah that will stay like this for now. This is another <laughs> blush that I guess went viral the House Labs uh, by Lady Gaga Color Fuse Blush. I got the shade Dragon Fruit Days. Again, this is another one of those like trending shades. It's very reflective and it looks like this. It's so pretty. I would say this is more like a neon shade and the Patrick, oh, what is this? The one size one is more like a lavender. And this is much brighter, if you can see that. I hope this is in focus, oh my god. Um, yeah, so very excited to try this one too. Um, I am also gonna keep this in here just to like review some viral blushes, I guess. <laughs> and I have another blush here, the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Flushed Face and Lip I don't know, blurring bomb powder. <laughs> anyway, it's from Danessa Myricks, her yummy skin line. And I really had to try this out for myself. This is called Golden Hour, the shade. This one is more like a orangey blush and it comes like this with a window so you can see the product. Yeah, this one is much more of an orange. And I'm very excited to use this, especially in like the summer months. I will be really into this shade. Um, so this one, maybe I'll keep it in this box also. I have so many blushes in here, you'll see. So I don't know, maybe I'll do like a blush roundup or something. Let's just keep going with the blush because I see more here. Another one that I bought because everyone was talking about it. <laughs> The Sephora Colorful Matte Blush, I guess, in the shade Date Night. And I don't know if you guys saw, but Sephora just came out with a whole line of new blushes. So I don't know what happened to these ones, like if they still exist, because the new ones are not matte. They're all shimmery, if I'm not mistaken. But this is another one of those. <laughs> bright pink shades which I should stop buying until I try because I don't even know if I'm gonna like it really. Um, yeah, so I have this one. I also have the Dior Backstage Professional Color Awakening Universal Blush Natural Healthy Glow Rosy Glow. <laughs> I don't know, it has like 50 names. The shade is 001 Pink. I'm sure you've probably seen this before. This one is one like that I think the hype kind of died down since this became available because this is kind of old by now. I probably like over two years old and now there's like so many dupes of it. So anyway, I got this one. I actually got this a long time ago and I never used it. But this one is more like a lighter pink. And these blushes only come in two shades because they're supposedly like those color adjusting pigments that like work with your pH or something. Yeah, so there's only the pink one and like a corally one, but I got this one because everyone was saying how good it was. So that's in here also. <laughs> Another blush I've had for a long time, still haven't used. 
This one's from Gucci. This is the Cheeks and Eyes Powder Luminous Matte in the shade Radiant Pink. <laughs> Another pink one. This one I honestly got for the packaging and because I was in Toronto and normally like when I go to a Sephora in another like city, I buy something, like I splurge on something. I don't know why, <laughs> but this is what I got. It's nice and heavy um, and I'll just try and open this. It's a weird opening. This one is more like, it's a pink, but more like a natural or like a pink shade that we're all used to for blush. It's not as bright and like neon, but I'm still very excited to try this one. And again, the packaging is really what sold it to me. Another blush I think I mostly got for the packaging, the Too Faced Cloud Crush Blurring Blush in the shade Watermelon Rain. This one looks like this, very cute. Has a little heart here. And another <laughs> pink blush. This one is more like fuchsia, I'd say. Um, it smells fun. I don't know, I'm excited about it also. Like, when am I gonna have time to try all these blushes? I don't know but I also have this one. My battery's gonna die, so I will change it and be back. Okay, I hope it doesn't look too different. I just changed my battery. We still have all of this to go. Um, let's continue with the blush, because there is more. This is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, Double Cheeked Up Freestyle Cream Blush Duo. This one I got during the Sephora VIB holiday sale, I think. Or maybe I bought it before that. Because I remember saying in a video that I didn't want to wait for this to go on sale because I thought it might sell out, but it didn't. And then it was like 50% off <laughs> because no one bought it, I guess. But this is the packaging and it is a duo, so there's two shades of cream blush in here. There's more like a pink one and then like a rosy brown kind of shade. And the shade, so this is, yes, this one's Peony Droppa and this one is Malibu's. So yeah. I've said in other videos, I think the um, the Fenty Cream Blush is underrated. I feel like no one ever talks about it, but it's one of the most long-lasting cream blushes in my opinion. So I really like them. I have, I only have one other shade. I have the shade Fuego Flush, which is like the bright orange one, and I really like it. So I'm hoping I really like these shades as well. I don't know because I haven't used it yet. <laughs> so yes, I also have this one. This one I might put away because it was limited edition. I feel like no one really cares about it anymore because it was a holiday release. So that'll probably go in my collection. I also have a Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush Duo in the shade. Divine Rose 2. I have two of these. The other one I have is Cosmic Coral and it got rolled into my shop, my stash, or my deck of panning. Some kind of project which you would have seen in a video, but this one is more like a pinky, a pinky shade. The other one, it's called Cosmic Coral, so it's like brighter. Um, yeah, but I believe I bought this because these were on sale for like a good discount, so that's why I have two of them, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't used this one yet. I think this is the last blush in here. <laughs> the Danessa Myricks um, Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette. So four more cream blushes in here. I haven't used this either and this is getting old. I mean, compared to other products I have. 
Um, it's still new to me, but yeah, there's four shades in here. They all look like shades that I'm gonna like, so I'm very excited to use this. I just don't have, I don't know, enough days in my life to, to try all this makeup. But yeah, another cream blush palette. So yeah, as you can see, how many blushes was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was ten blushes. And I just see another one here. <laughs> I see two more, I think. So there's more. Um, yeah, so this is getting to be a problem. So that's why I'm trying not to buy as much blush. But anyway. This is a blush I got in BoxyCharm. It's from Youthphoria, and this is interesting. This is a cream, well, no, it's more like a liquid blush, and it looks green, but it's one of those things that like turns pink on your skin, so I am kind of intrigued, <laughs> but yeah, it's just a bit strange but anyway so i also have this to use and the other one i'm seeing here is from this little mini duo from westman atelier squeaky and cheeky duo so there's a lip balm in here like a tint like a liquid lip balm which is extremely heavy by the way and i can feel why westman atelier is more on the pricey side and this is the little cream blush. This is the shade, does it say? Bichette, Baby Cheeks Blush Stick. It looks like this. So I'm very excited to have this in my collection. I guess I'll keep this on the side here. I think that's it for blush now. Yes, okay. <laughs> Just getting kind of crazy. Let's move on to these products here, I guess. So I have here a primer from Laura Geller. I got this in a boxy charm. It's the Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer. And I kept this because it says that it's moisturizing and replenishing and it says hydrate here. So I'm assuming it's good for dry skin. So yeah, I do not need any more primers <laughs> in my collection, but this sounds like something I'd be into. So I think I can put this away like in my collection though, because this is not a new product and I don't like foresee myself making a video, you know, specifically on this. So that can be put away. I have another primer here from Dominique and this is the Blur and Moisture Serum Primer which sounds really good to me also. So that can be put away too because I don't think that's new and also they just took Dominique Cosmetics out of Sephora Canada which I'm really sad about because I wanted to buy her new palette during the sale and then I went to look for Dominique Cosmetics and they're not even on Sephora Canada anymore so that's not nice <laughs> I don't know what happened there but yeah this again sounds like something I'd be into but this can go in my collection I have another primer here from Keys maybe should I zoom you out I don't know if that helped um, I also got this in a boxy charm. This is the Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum, but I've decided I'm gonna use this as a primer because it just sounds more like a primer to me than skincare. And the shade is called Golden Aura. Let's see what this looks like, because I forgot. Oh, yeah, it's a nice glass bottle. It's quite heavy. And yeah, I'm excited to try this. Let's actually just put some on my hand because I don't remember how glowy this actually is. Oh, that feels really nice and like 
moisturizing actually and it's actually not that glowy it smells kind of strong um maybe i could actually use this as skincare too now that i think about it what does it say it says illuminates plumps revitalizes oh it's i think it's the rose water yeah it has a rose scent that's what i'm smelling and it says a potent there's niacinamide in it a potent form of vitamin b3 that helps brighten and balance the skin's appearance shake gently and apply one to two pumps to moisturize skin using fingertips or a brush to blend can be used alone for an even natural glow or as a smooth luminous base prior to applying makeup i'm going to put in my primer category for now if it doesn't work like with my makeup um i'll just use it as skincare because it's actually not as glowy as i thought it would be like for some reason i thought there was like shimmer in this or something i don't know maybe i just didn't shake it <laughs> anyway so i also have that the problem is if i take too many things out of this container they're not gonna fit in my <laughs> primer drawer Oh my god, that could be an issue. So we'll see if I keep this in here or not. I might have to simply because I don't have room for it anywhere else. And I do see another primer here, which is kind of, you know, a similar idea. So this can be skincare or a makeup primer, but I'm going to use it for under makeup. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops and this is probably quite similar because they both have nice cinnamide oh but right off the bat i can tell this is a different texture this is more like a gel and the other one was more like a lotion kind of feeling oh and i i like the way this smells better because of the watermelon scent i don't know if you can even see anything there but yeah, another like skincare makeup primer hybrid. I This one I took out of the box because it was taking up too much room, but I haven't used it ever. So, <laughs> and I'm, I probably will like this because I really liked the, the spray in this line. So yeah, I have high hopes for this one. Oh, and I have another primer. So this one is my doing because I got this as a with a promo code from Sephora. Um, this is from Glossier. So when Glossier first came to Sephora, they had this as a promo, so it was free. But it's actually like 15 milliliters. So it's. It's half the size of the full version, I'm pretty sure, because that's 0.5 ounces. It comes in this like heavy glass bottle, and I got this for free, so that's fun. I did not need another primer, obviously, but it was free, so how could I say no? <laughs> oh, that is like tinted. Oh, oh. Okay, and it's very thick. Okay, wow. Oh, this is called Future Dew, by, by the way. It says Oil Serum Hybrid. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this for my dry skin. It's very thick. Like, I see what they mean by Oil Serum Hybrid. It smells nice. I don't know if I'm smelling this or like everything mixed together now, <laughs> but it's not a bad smell. So yeah, this could be really fun. This one says apply two pumps all over face as the last step in your skin routine. Add more to the high points of the face for extra glow. Yeah, so because it says as the last step in your skin routine, I'm going to use this as a makeup primer because that just makes sense to me. Yeah, that is 
I don't know if you have oily skin if you'd like this because it feels oily on my arm but I like that <laughs> because I have dry skin but if you have oily skin just be aware of that and I've never tried anything from Glossier because before they came to Sephora, you could actually not get Glossier specifically in Quebec. They would not ship products here. So I've never <laughs> been able to try it before. Um, yeah, so I think that was it for primers. Yeah, I have two, well, from what I see so far, two complexion products. These are so old. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still keeping them in here. This is the Pure Lease BB Cream with SPF 40, Ageless Glow it's called. I have the shade Light and I mentioned in another video that this is going in my whole collection project pen once I'm, once I hit my goal on my Rose Ink Serum, whatever that's called, I never remember, then I'm replacing it with this because this is going to expire next year and I really want to use it before it expires because it has SPF 40 in it and I'm very um, intrigued to use something called a serum BB cream that is also SPF. That sounds really good to me. So I think I'm going to put this in my collection. Um, but either way, even if I leave it in here, I know I'm going to use it soon, so. And the other thing is a foundation stick from Tristique. I have the shade Lima Opal. It looks like this. Let's swatch it. Oh, it's very light. Hmm. I don't know about this. <laughs> Um, this might be something I don't use all over the face. I don't know. But I should probably just put this with my other foundations because it's not a new product. Moving on to setting sprays. I have two. And these are taking up a lot of room in here. So I don't really know what to do about this. But, and they both have like very similar branding. I got them both from BoxyCharm. This one is from the brand Dear Midnight. Is that the brand? I guess. Never heard of it, but I like their branding. It's like celestial. Um, it says it's the set to last setting spray. So another setting spray in my collection. Let's see. This is the packaging, which is cute. And, oh, it's one of these kind of pumps. So usually those are good. Let's see. I'm just gonna spray it off camera. Oh, that could be fun. It seemed to have like a very even mist. So yeah, this is supposedly for making your makeup last. I assume because it's called set to last and the other one here is from St. Lux again like celestial black packaging this one is called the I think it's just called setting spray so let's see what this one looks like just like a very basic black bottle and like a more typical pump style I'm trying to spray it oh okay oh this has like a coconut scent or am I crazy it doesn't say anywhere this one is saying that it's to give a glowy finish so I think I'm really going to like that. It has purslane and hyaluronic acid. Ooh, okay. Honestly, I think that's the first time I even tried spraying this or even looked at this. <laughs> so now I'm kind of excited about it because I just figured it was the same as this one. So yeah, 
but this one seems to be more for making your makeup last longer and this one is more like for giving a dewy finish so they are different I just don't know if I should keep them in my drawer but I don't have room for them anywhere else so I don't know um, let's do eye products I've shown these in videos already. Um, this is from NYX. It's the Glow Shots or Ultimate Glow Shots Brightening Liquid Shadow. And I bought this um, when I went to the States because I thought we didn't have this product in Canada, but I've since seen it at the drugstore. So I think it just came late to us. But I bought it also for the shade because I've never seen like this kind of creamsicle shade in an eyeshadow before well at least not like a liquid shadow so I was very intrigued but I just put it away and never used it and I feel like this is something I would pull into my like summer shop my stash because it's very summery to me so I have that I also have a shadow stick from the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams collection, which is super old by now. And I bought this because it's a blue, like a light blue shadow stick, which I thought would be fun to use as like a base for blue eyeshadows or as like a colorful liner or like a under, like a lower lash line shadow. Um, I just haven't reached for it yet. <laughs> and I got this sample from Sephora. This is from Danessa Myricks. It's a Twin Flames Multi-Chrome Pigment. I am actually very excited about this. And this is a great size for a free sample. Like, this will last me. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's really pretty. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it. It has like a purple-green shift. I don't know, maybe you can see the purple there and then the green, like greenish gold. Okay, this could be fun. I'm just trying to like blend it out a bit. Wow, it, a little goes a long way it seems, so yeah. I need to get around to using this before it dries up. Wow, the green shift on that in real life is crazy. Like it hurts my eyes, <laughs> it's so bright. Ooh, and it's hard to come off even with a, a wipe. So these probably have long staying power. Um, I have more eye products. I have a KVD Tattoo Pencil Liner. I think in my um, makeup inventory, I thought this was a liquid liner, but it's actually a pencil. It's a long wear gel eyeliner in the shade Pyrolucite Brown. So actually, now I'm more intrigued. I thought it was a black, <laughs> another black liner, but it's actually a brown. So that's fun. Oh, and it's like a twist up. See how I don't even know what's in this basket because there's so much stuff. Ooh, that's like a, is that metallic or am I just swatching it over a wet hand? <laughs> but that's the shade. Okay, this could be good. Actually the KVD, well, it used to be Kat Von D, the tattoo liner that came in a pot. Was it called tattoo liner? I don't know. Like the one that was like an inkwell. That was my first ever high-end makeup product that I bought at Sephora. And it was like the only eyeliner I ever wore in high school, <laughs> if you're interested. So yeah, this brings back memories, but yeah, this is obviously a pencil liner. Um, this is another, okay, this one is a liquid liner from Farah, 18 hour liquid liner. I don't, not that I need an 18 hour liner in the shade Black Velvet. This is from BoxyCharm, of course, they love sending liquid liners. 
Ooh, it's like a nice small, small one. Oh, and it's very black. Okay, and this is a felt tip. So it's like a marker pen. Um, I don't see a reason why I need to keep these eyeliners in my new makeup drawer. So I'm probably gonna put those with my other eyeliners. That's not coming off very easily either. This is not a makeup wipe though, so maybe that's why. <laughs> it's actually a baby wipe. Um, <laughs> I use them because they have lavender in them. But anyway, okay, I managed to get that off. What's this? Another KVD. Oh, this is the Longwear Eyeshadow Stick, the Dazzle Stick. I bought this myself, of course, from Sephora because I cannot resist the shade of it and because Lauren May Beauty said it was good and I believe her. <laughs> oh, and it's so pretty. These feel like wet when you swatch them. That's the shade. Oh. Okay, see, I need to use these things. They're just getting old in here. But it's so pretty. It has like different color um, sparkles in it. I'm not sure if that's coming across on camera. It's actually a very gloomy day, but I have time to film today, so I thought I would try and do that, even though it's not the best for my video quality. I don't know why I showed you that I took the swatch off. <laughs> anyway, is that it for eyes? No, I see this from BoxyCharm. This is from the Beauty Crop. And this is a, what is this called? I don't know, but it's definitely for your eyes. It's an eyeshadow. And the shades are cinnamon and fudge. So, yes, this is like a matte liquid eyeshadow, and this is a shimmer on this side. So, it's like a dual ended product. I just don't know what the name of this, of this is because it doesn't say anywhere. Oh, here, Liquid Eyeshadow Duo. That's all. That's what it's called. So, another liquid. <laughs> eyeshadow that I should use because liquid shadows um, could dry out so that's concerning to me. I have two more like complexion products. I have the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. Uh, wow, I don't know why this is in here still. Well, I do, because I never pulled it into a project or shot my stash since I bought it. Um, but I should not have bought a new concealer during the VIB sale <laughs> when I already had a new one that I never used. But anyway, this one I have very high hopes for. I've heard really good things about it. I got the shade LN6, which I believe is the same shade I have in the LYS foundation. So it's like a neutral light tone. I'm actually very excited to use this, but I just haven't done it yet. And the other thing which has been in here a long time is the Rare Beauty Warm Wishes, Warm Wishes Stick Bronzer. Oh, <laughs> I was reading the French side. Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick in the shade Power Boost. I've heard really good things about this too, but I just got the LYS bronzer stick in my BoxyCharm. Well, now it's called Ipsy because BoxyCharm got sold to Ipsy, but I got the LYS bronzer stick and I'm very excited about it. But I'm also wanting to try this one. This one, I've swatched this before and that's the shade. Ooh, it's very creamy and emollient. So that looks like a nice neutral, neutral shade, I would say. So that's exciting and I need to use it as I do every product in here.
Okay, is this all lip products now, I think. Okay, so I'll try and go quickly through these. I feel like I've shown these in a video. Um, but I have the new Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color. I bought this because I thought it was going to be like a, a liquid version of the Moisture Glow Serum. I actually don't know what they're called. Those ones that they're like a lipstick that you click up. Um, I thought this would be like that but in a liquid form. And it kind of is. I've tried it once. I don't remember much about it, but I need to try it some more because I don't remember. Um, I feel like it wasn't as shiny, I think, as the other ones that he has. But this is the shade Barely Pink. Um, yeah, so I have this. I don't know if these got the best reviews because I feel like they, everyone was excited for them and then they came out and now and no one's talking about them so I don't really know <laughs> much about that. Um, <clears throat> this is from BoxyCharm. It's from Persona. It's the E-Bomb in the shade Manifest. I feel like this is a new product for Persona. I could be wrong. Uh, we don't have Persona in Canada, so I don't know much about them. But it's like a red um, shade, but it is a balm, so I'm assuming it's not going to be very pigmented. Yeah, it's quite sheer, but it looks like that. So this will go in my lipstick category because of the shade. It's not like something I'd wear as a lip balm on a daily basis. Um, I also have a liquid lipstick from Give Them Lala Beauty and this is called a Hydro Matte and the shade is Booty Call. <laughs> okay. It looks very nude. I don't know if I'm gonna like this to be honest because it looks like one of those cool tone... Okay, maybe not. Oh. That smells weird. It looked very cool, like grayish in the tube because it's a frosted like plastic, but it actually looks like this. So maybe I will really like this. Let me swatch the Makeup by Mario next to that. Cause I feel like they are kind of similar. Of course, this is not a liquid lipstick though. Oh no, that's much deeper. That's the Makeup by Mario. Okay, so yeah, I don't know anything about this, but I do like that it's called a Hydro Matte because I do not like very dry liquid lipsticks anymore. In fact, I've been decluttering a lot of them, so we'll see about this one. I also have the Lip Duos from the ColourPop Malibu Barbie collection because when I bought the, when they came out with their Valentine's Day collection, I wanted to get some items from this collection because it was like 50% off, I believe. So I got all the lip duos and the eyeshadow palette and the mirror and I'm very excited about them. <laughs> But I've, I think I've shown these in a video, I could be wrong, but I have, and each of these has a cream luxe lipstick and a lippy pencil inside. So this one is in the shade, where is the shade name? Oh, Malibu Sunset? Yeah, Malibu Sunset. So this one is like a berry tone. That's the lipstick. I love this shade for summer. And the packaging, so cute. And the lip pencil is like the same color, but in a lip pencil. So that one was Malibu Sunset. And these packages are taking up a lot of room, but they're so cute because they're all different. So I don't know if I can get rid of them just yet. <laughs> Um, anyway, this one is Golden Beach. So 
So this one's a nice like brownie nude shade that I like. It looks like this. And the lip pencil in the same shade of course. And the last one is called Dream House. Okay, this one's more like a mauve. But these are all shades that I would wear and shades that I like. So that's why I went for these. Plus I've been thinking about them like since they launched. <laughs> so when I saw they were on sale, I finally just had to get them. But I have all of those. This thing I don't think I've mentioned in any videos, but I did pick up one of the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Yummy Glosses. I got the Coconuts About You shade because I love coconut scents. And I really liked the sound of this. It has a really, um, like a tropical coconut smell, like a pina colada. It smells really good, actually. I have tried this before. I don't really know my full thoughts yet. This shade is very sheer, as you can see, so it doesn't give much color. But yeah, I think I liked it. It might have been a quite, it's more like a thicker formula, but I don't remember it being like sticky or anything. So, yeah, I have that. Um, okay, three more things in here. These products I showed in a haul. Um, I got the Shoe Emora Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal whatever collection lip products. I got one from the Rouge Unlimited Kinu Satin Lipstick range. This one's the shade Dream Rust. And honestly, I got these because they're Sailor Moon. Oh, and I put the cap on wrong. I think it's supposed to be like this. Look at this packaging. I love it. It is just like plastic, but it feels nice. And yeah. Um, the shade is really fun. And look at the shape of this bullet. It's super weird. Looks like that. So, Dream Rust is this one. It's a nice, like, pinky nude. These I should probably put in my collection because I don't even know if um, they still have these because I believe they're limited edition. This one is the Rouge Unlimited Amplified Lacquer Lipstick in the shade Mauve Flash. So it has the same packaging, but actually um, it's the same picture, but they're not the same size. So this one is like wider <laughs> and this is just a thinner package because it's more, it's one of these kind of lipsticks where, you know, the bullet, the packaging hugs the bullet because it's more like emollient, I suppose. Yeah, it's more like a balmy formula. The shades are kind of similar, to be honest. This one is a bit lighter, as you can see, but they are different um, formulas. So that's why I justified <laughs> getting two of them, I suppose. So that was everything for the basket. So I think I'm going to try and organize this and clean up my mess here and then I'll pull out the rest of the stuff in the drawer which is like eyeshadows and face palettes and yeah, it's a lot. Oh, actually I forgot one. <laughs> I have one more lipstick here. Oh dear. Um, from Rare Beauty, the Kind Words Matte Lipstick. I got the shade Talented. So that's the packaging. It's one that you click and pull from the bottom. This is another brown nude. And it looks like that. Very light. But, um, yeah. I don't think I've tried this on my lips, so <laughs> hopefully. I like it. 
Okay, so that's it. So I'll be back to show you the rest of the drawer. Okay, so this is the like newest of the new. Um, I, these two products I just got yesterday. So actually, let's just start with that because I went to a winner's in um, Ontario, like very close to where I live. And I found two really good things. So I broke two no buys buying this, but I think it was worth it. Because first of all, Give Beauty from Gwen Stefani it's already in winners. What's going on? I don't know. But this is the All Time Prime Multi Use Prep and Smooth Face Oil. This was, this is on my Sephora loves list actually, but the only reason I didn't buy it is because I'm on a primer no buy. <laughs> um, and this is $62 Canadian and I paid $9.99. I think they put the wrong sticker on this because they say up on top compare at 14 and I was like there's no way this is like $14 it's from like Gwen Stefani's makeup brand and it's sold at Sephora right now so they definitely put the wrong sticker on here so I saved $52 <laughs> on this and I'm so excited because this is actually the only product in her line that I wanted. Like everything else I didn't really care about. I don't need red lipsticks. I don't need eyeliners. But this was very intriguing to me. So it's a face oil, but it's meant to be used as a primer or you can actually mix it into your foundation is what it says on the box. And I think that's very exciting as someone with dry skin to be able to mix an oil in with my foundation or at least with foundations that are too dry that sounds very exciting to me so yes I got this and I'm very happy about it it's a glass bottle it's heavy I just can't believe that I got this for ten dollars <laughs> so I did break my primer no buy but I could not leave this there. And plus the package was like nice and new. Like you could tell they just put it out. So I got this. And then they had these um, from Profusion, these blushes. And we don't get Profusion in Canada, at least not in Quebec. I should start saying in Quebec instead of Canada because I feel like Quebec gets even less <laughs> than the rest of the provinces but yeah I haven't seen these anywhere and I've been really excited to try these I think is it she glam that makes the same product so it's a cream blush so yes I broke my cream blush no buy this I don't think I got that good of a deal on because it was $5.99 Canadian and I feel like Profusion is very affordable in America, at least, um, if I could open this. But I kind of just really was intrigued by the applicator. So it looks like this, it's fun. And it's one of these, like this little poof thing. Um, so yeah. I think it's, is it Michaela that uses these in her videos all the time? But so you like dot it on and I love the shade of this too. It's the shade Bellini and it's like a nice brownie, peachy brown, I guess, blush. So I'm very excited about this. I hope it's good. I don't really know anything about it other than that. I liked the packaging <laughs> so I got this oh by the way I'm sorry about this like awful table it looks really dirty but it's actually just like that <laughs> this is a table I like craft on and use for my shot my stash video so yeah just ignore that but anyway let's move on because there's still so much here this is gonna be a very long video if you haven't realized that by now so these two products I just got on Friday it's Sunday when I'm filming 
Um, these were from my first ever Ipsy because BoxyCharm is now Ipsy, like I said before. Um, and now you can pick, well now you can pick two products in your box and they tell you what the other three are. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I kind of liked the surprise factor and now like I'm going to know every month what's in my box, but we'll see. I did renew my subscription for a year, um, so <laughs> I hope it stays the same quality or better. Um, but I am excited because I got an LYS product. I got the No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick and I did actually want this product, but as you saw just before, I have the Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer Stick and I haven't used it yet. But this one looks like this and it's their like signature triangle packaging. So it's a triangle shape and this is the shade Harmony. And yes, so I was gonna say, I've heard these are very, very creamy and yes, they are. Like that was just tap and all this um, <laughs> product came out. So I think this is like a deeper shade than the Rare Beauty one. Um, I think this, somewhere I read that this is medium, like a medium shade. I don't remember where I saw that, but I'm excited about it. And I actually got the the brush that goes with this in my last boxy Lux. So that was fun to get a product, you know, that goes with the brush. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this, but now I have two cream bronzer sticks. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna swatch as much going forward because it's just getting very long. This is from a brand I've never heard of, Neen, and it's the Pretty Shiny Cream Highlighter. This kind of concerns me because it's in one of those, like, this kind of package, you know, where like usually like a face cream or something would be in. And I'm scared that it means the product's gonna come out really fast. So I haven't even opened this. I know I just said I'm not gonna swatch as much, but I'm very intrigued by this. How do I open it? And it says that this can be used on the face, eyes, and lips. So that's cool. I actually don't know how to open this. Is it sealed? Or do I have to poke a hole in it? Okay, so exactly what I was saying would probably happen, happened. It all <laughs> came out like this. So not very, you know, excited about that. And it's just gonna keep coming, it seems. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna put the cap back on. Oh my God. So <laughs> that's way too much product and it's very golden tone. Okay, I'm scared. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. So this is a cream highlighter, but like, why? Why is it in that packaging? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so yeah, maybe if I blend out a bit, this would be more like what it would actually look like, this here. It is pretty, but it might be too deep for me. Also, every time I open this, I guess it's gonna explode. So, there's that. <laughs> oh, and I turned off the camera to read if there was like instructions how to open it and there wasn't any anywhere so I just opened it with scissors so maybe I did something wrong but I knew that was going to happen because of how that packaging is because I have a moisturizer in the same kind of package and I knew it was going to do that so very strange to put a highlighter in that kind of packaging but let's move on 
Okay, so real, really quickly, this is just my little mascara cup and I'm down to five mascaras. So that's really good. At one point I had like 10 or more in here. Um, this first one is the Their Real Magnet Mascara from Benefit. I got this in a boxy charm. Um, I did have another magnetic mascara from Pure and I really didn't like that one in the end so I hope I like this one better. But I'm not going to open these mascaras because I don't want them to go bad. But I have this one. I have this unmarked <laughs> mascara. It's called Whole Lotta Mascara. I believe the brand is Beauty For Certain because I have a lipstick from them and this has like the same pattern on it. So I have this mascara and it's, a, I'm assuming a black mascara. I, I think this is my newest one. This is from Woma, U-O-M-A. And this is the Drama Bomb Extreme Volume Nourishing Mascara. This is in the shade Kem, K-E-M, and it looks like this. Very fun packaging. I haven't tried anything from Woma before, um, but I have seen their available, well, her like su sub brand, if that's what you call it, Uoma by Sharon C. You can get it at Walmart in Canada, so that's very exciting. Um, this is the mascara I asked for for Christmas, the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. I just asked for the mini um, because I had a lot of mascaras at that time. <laughs> but yeah, very excited about this one. And I bought this Rare Beauty Mini in a little kit with the eyeshadow palette, which I already put away. But yeah, the mascara I haven't tried before, so... Uh, but I have heard really good things about it. So that's all my mascaras. And then we have off camera here tons of eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> oh my god. This first one is from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. It's the All Done Up palette. I'm gonna that highlighter made a mess. So I'm I'm gonna have to clean my hands again before I open this. I should also show you the other Blend Bunny palette I have because I bought them at the same time but the other one was too big to fit in my new makeup drawer but anyway I'll show you this one first the All Done Up palette I'm so excited to try this I did have to pay you know shipping and duties um, to get this in Canada, but I hope it's gonna be worth it. I've heard really good things About it. So this is the palette. It is beautiful. I Love how every row going down like this Well, I guess that's a column <laughs> not a row is a look right so It goes from like a gradient from light to dark and then the bottom is all like shimmer shades I love how this is made. I love the color story. I am very excited to use this. And when a palette is made like this, I feel like I'll just get even more use out of it because I'm the kind of person that will see a pattern and like have to do my makeup in that way. <laughs> so I don't know what's up with that, but yeah, I'm very excited about this. So let me show you I'll keep the plastic on. Let me show you the other Blend Bunny palette. It's the Dollhouse palette. Because that is a new palette. It just didn't fit in my new makeup drawer. So it looks like this. Yeah, so it's too tall to fit in my new makeup drawer. This is a big palette. It's 30 shades. And this is what they call their Neutral Glam palette. Oops looks like this and it's beautiful again I love how they um, just do their color stories it's so fun so 
the top row and the bottom are all shimmery shades and then the three rows in the middle are mattes and again I feel like you could just do a look with each row and be set and I love that so I have this also I'm also going to film my eyeshadow palette collection so you'll see these again because um, I'm going to film that video in like I'm going to group my palettes by brand so yeah now I, I've never tried Blend Bunny before but now I have two of their palettes and I'm very excited about it these two you've seen before I hauled them in a video I guess around the holidays because this was <laughs> the Odin's Eye holiday release I have the Merry Christmas palette I'm sure you've seen these before. These got so much hype and then because they were limited edition, of course, because they're Christmas themed. But this is the Merry Christmas palette. I love the color story. This just looks like art to me. I don't know. I feel like I never would have thought to pair these colors together, but Odin's Eye did and <laughs> they did it very well, obviously. So, very excited to reach into this. It is embarrassing how many Odin's Eye palettes I've accumulated and I have not, I don't think I've used any of them yet. And that's a travesty. <laughs> One of them is in my Shop My Stash, so that will get used soon. But honestly, I have a new rule for myself. I'm not allowed to buy new palettes from brands that I already own and haven't used because it's getting ridiculous. Anyway, that's the Merry Christmas palette. Unfortunately, you can't get it anymore. But I'm hoping they're gonna either re-release these this year or do like another holiday kind of theme because these were just so good. This is the Christmas Eve palette. It's more like a blue color story. I mean, it's amazing and there every odin's eye palette i own i feel like is so unique to my collection like look at these colors it's so beautiful so yeah there's that one brand new hasn't been touched i haven't even swatched these i don't like to swatch my eyeshadows before i use them i know i'm weird <laughs> this one Oh my god, the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana. This is heavy, okay? This should not be in my new makeup drawer anymore. So it looks like this. I think this is still available, at least on Sephora Canada, and it's on sale. So, like, not just because of the VIB sale, like, it's on sale in the sale section. So, if you were interested, Go check that out and this is how it looks and I was so excited about this because I feel like it's the first time Pat McGrath is giving us so much color but I just put it in its box in my new makeup drawer and haven't touched it <laughs> so that's great oh my god so I have this I have two palettes from Lethal Cosmetics I got the Teresa's Lethal collab. Well, Teresa's Dead and Lethal Cosmetics collab, but the palette is called Teresa's Lethal. I never got the first one because I wasn't really, like it wasn't on my radar, I guess, when she first came out with, why can't I open this? The magnet is so strong. But I had to get this one because, I don't know, her, the way she described the shades just very much intrigued me so I got this I have not used it yet I don't know why <laughs> and because I wanted free shipping probably or maybe just because I wanted to try more things from lethal I also got a um a palette that they what's it called they curated so it's actually singles like eyeshadow single eyeshadow singles right but 
they came like in this color story at least they showed it to you like this on the website so i put them in the same format and i'm loving these like grungy tones this is more like a fall palette to me um this had a name i think it's called the hive collection because there's a b on it something like that but i'm very excited to try another indie brand so I need to get around to that <laughs> also. Look at this, Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. You know what bugs me about this still being in my new makeup drawer is that now this is on sale and I still haven't used it. So to me, it's like I didn't even need to buy it when it first launched because I didn't make a video on it. I didn't use it yet. Yeah, that bugs me. So. <laughs> I need to get better about, I don't know, buying things for videos and if I'm not going to do a video I should just wait because things go on sale. Anyway, oh but side note, I think Natasha Denona is getting out of Sephora Canada because all of her palettes are on sale and I also got the gold palette, oh my god. And I didn't even put it in my new makeup drawer because it didn't fit, but I'll show it to you. Anyway, Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. This one didn't get good reviews, I feel, but I was very excited about it. First of all, the packaging, so fun. But the Mini Retro Glam Palette is one of my favorites and I really wanted more, so I got the full size one. And really I should be using this palette at this time of year because this is very spring to me but of course I haven't touched it yet so yeah there's that. This is a multi-use lip and cheek palette from Iconic London. I got this in a boxy charm. I really like Iconic London I've realized because everything I've tried from them I've really liked. This one I have not tried yet obviously and I can't open it <laughs> so it looks like this it's like a like nice hard plastic packaging and this is the inside so another lip and cheek cream palette that I haven't touched <laughs> so I have this to use at some point oh another eyeshadow palette Another brand I'm not allowed to buy more eyeshadow from until I've used what I have, the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. Honestly, I kind of forgot I even had this and that's terrible. <laughs> it looks like this and it's beautiful. This is more like a fall palette though, I feel, cause it's more like deeper kind of smoky shadows right but i'm very excited about it i just i don't know what it is about huda beauty i feel like i buy all of her releases and then i don't touch them i don't understand what's going on <laughs> this i believe i showed this mm, no maybe i didn't but i got the melt cosmetics Monarca blush palette. This is another thing that's in the Sephora sale section So if you want it to go and check it out, I hope it's still available But I had to have this and I'm so glad I bought it because Babs Beauty who I've mentioned a lot because she's one of like She's one of my favorite reviewers at least um, she recommended this for the Sephora sale so I don't think this video is going to go up before the sale ends, but it is in the sale section anyway, so you can still get a discount. But it has like every shade that I'd want in a blush. Like it goes from like basic neutral to like fun pops of color blushes. So I'm so excited to get around to using this. <laughs> so yeah, I got that. And I did get this on sale, which is good because Melt Cosmetics can be quite pricey. I have another stack of things to show you. I got a Pat McGrath 
eyeshadow palette in a boxy charm. I know, crazy. This is the Celestial Nirvana eyeshadow palette in Nude Allure. Was this her um, part of her holiday release, I believe? Which I guess didn't do too well because <laughs> most of it ended up on sale or in BoxyCharm. But I mean, I'm not complaining because I love to get high-end, you know, makeup from BoxyCharm. So, and this is really pretty, actually. I'm very excited about this, to be honest. But I haven't used it yet. So, I have this. So, that is now, like, four Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes <laughs> that I haven't used. Oh, and um, this palette is from Ofra. The Signature Palette in Symphony, I guess. Um... So in one of my boxy charms, I got an extra item and it was this. And in that box, I got two palettes. I don't remember which, what was the other one? But I was like, oh, what happened here? Cause it wasn't even like it was replacing another product. Like I got an extra item. And I'm wondering if it's because I asked, like, you know how you can pick one of your products? Well now, you can pick two, but you used to only pick one. And the product that I picked, they ended up like running out of, I guess. So they sent me an email, like, sorry, we ran out. And they gave me a discount. But then they also gave me this, I think. Or it was a mistake. <laughs> anyway, so I got, I have another palette. This one's from Ofra, like I said. And this is really pretty also. So... I mean, it's kind of similar to the Pat McGrath one, to be honest, but it looks really fun. I don't think I've ever tried Ofra eyeshadows. I've only tried their face products, so that should be, so that could be fun to try something new from them. Um, I also have another palette from BoxyCharm, the Wander Beauty Sweet Escape. By the way, I redid my BoxyCharm quiz and I told them to give me less makeup <laughs> because it's getting crazy, like honestly. Did I say, yeah, Sweet Escape? This looks beautiful, the color story at least. I don't know about how the formula is going to work out, but let me move this. <gasps> Oh my god, I just dropped something, which I hope I'm gonna break. Um, yeah, Wander Beauty Sweet Escape. Look at this color story. That looks so pretty. Um, now that I see this, I'm glad I didn't get the Lawless Lavender palette because I feel like this looks kind of similar <laughs> and you have more shades. So I'm very excited. I love these shades right now, these like lilac purples. I love those. So this is really something, again, I should be using this time of year, but I have way too many other palettes in rotation. Uh, this is the thing that fell, <laughs> but it looks okay. Another thing from Pat McGrath that I got in a boxy charm. This is the Eye Dolls eyeshadow in the shade Rose Venus. I need to take this out of the packaging, um, but I haven't done it yet because I want to keep the, what are these called, sequins? I want to keep them for my crafts, so <laughs> I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to take this out of the packaging because obviously like it's taking up a lot of room for just a single eyeshadow. But yeah, again, always great to get Pat McGrath at a discount, although did I need this shade? Probably not. It's just like, you know, a neutral shimmer shade. But it looks pretty nonetheless. Um, I also have this from the brand Lovecraft Beauty, I think. This brand. This is called Plasma Gloss. It's an all over gloss multifunctional, buildable gloss that adds a dewy, iridescent glow to lips, 
lids and cheekbones or anywhere you want to add shimmery highlights. So it looks like a little jar. Oh, apparently I swatched it already. I don't remember doing that. It's very emollient. I definitely will not be able to put this on my cheekbones, but maybe on the eyes. It is very glossy though, so we'll have to see about that. The shade is called Quasar Goo. I don't know. I think that's a language or a reference to something that I know nothing about, so <laughs> there you go. Okay, back to palettes. The Anastasia Rose Metals Eyeshadow and Pressed Pigment Palette. Another palette I can't believe is still in my makeup drawer because it's not new anymore. I'm pretty sure I showed this in a haul already, but this is the packaging. It's very like 90s, like gloomy florals. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's how I feel when I think of this. Um, and those are the shades. So I haven't touched it yet, know nothing about it, but I have it. Well, I mean, I know, I know I like the ABH formula, but I haven't tried this palette specifically yet. Okay, my battery died again. So I'm gonna have to <laughs> make this a lot faster. But we have more. We have the Urban Decay Naked uh, Robin Eisenberg palette. I think I bought this because it was on sale because I didn't intend to buy it when it first came out, but it looks really pretty. It's very fun, especially for a naked palette, and I've heard good things about it, so I'm happy I have it. I just have not had a chance to use it yet. I also love the packaging. It's very pretty. I'll probably talk more or show you more in depth these palettes in my palette collection video, but right now I'm just trying to go quicker. This is from Mali, right? Mali Beauty, I think. This is the best dressed lids, neutrals and bolds, 14 matte and shimmer eyeshadows palette from a boxy charm. Oh, it kind of looks like the ABH Rose Metals, but with more shades. But I know nothing about this formula, so I'd have to try it. Here I have another holiday release, the Too Faced Secret Santa palette. Honestly, I bought this for the packaging. I did not need another neutral Too Faced palette, but I really do like these little mini palettes from Too Faced, but how could you not get this? Look at this little pink Santa. Anyway, it's nothing we haven't seen before from Too Faced. Although this shade is very special, I feel. It's like a bright red metallic and I really like it. Well, at least I like how it looks. I haven't tried it on my eyes, but yeah, I did get this. It's supposed to smell like something. It's Christmas spice. I don't I don't understand. I don't smell Christmas spice, but anyway, I have this. These are the Odin's Eye palettes I showed in my Shop My Stash. The Lauren the Sea Talk palette from Lauren May and the Planet Spirit palette from Betty Jean. I'll show you them again because they're just so beautiful. That's the Sea Talk palette. And this is the Planet Spirit palette from Betty Jean. So the Flora Story palette is in my Shop My Stash. So that's the one I'm going to be using hopefully soon. But these will definitely need to be getting used in the summer because I love those color stories for summer looks. I also, I also showed you in my Shop My Stash video that I got these two products from Jaclyn because they were heavily discounted <laughs> at Winners. The Strawberry Feels palette looks like this. 
and I just liked, I mean, I didn't see it in store because there were no testers and this was like very well packaged, but I saw it in somebody's YouTube video, I don't remember, and it looked really pretty. So when I saw it at Winners and that it wasn't full of people's fingerprints, I decided to pick it up. But I'm not going to do like a video or anything because I don't think I agree with whatever's going on with this brand right now. I don't even know. Um, but I also got the Rouge Romance Matte Blush Palette because I've always wanted this like since it came out. The shades are just totally up my alley. So another blush palette that I haven't used. Is that it? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, that was finally everything in my new makeup drawer. So now I'm gonna organize everything and put it back where it belongs. And I think I'll show you how it looks like in the end, just for fun. It's the next day. I realize I forgot to show you the final results. So this is what my um, new makeup drawer is looking like now. Um, I feel like it doesn't look that different because I had to put my eyeshadow palettes, which you see here um, and here on the side, I had to put them back here for now because I'm going to film my eyeshadow palette collection video and I can't put them back in the eyeshadow palette drawers because those are full. <laughs> so yeah, that will be, you know, being organized after that video. But this little basket here is looking much better. I can see everything and there's space, like, not that I intend to fill it up, but there's space now and I know what's in here. So yeah, I did add my two new products the um, face oil from Give Beauty and the Profusion Blush. I'm keeping those in the box for now because I don't know enough about them yet. But I did take my setting sprays out of the box. So that, you know, gave up some room. And I still have all these blushes here that I'm wanting to do some kind of video on. If you guys have any suggestions or if you care, <laughs> just let me know below in the comments. But yeah, so this is what everything is looking like and that's it. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't look at my slippers <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!